Hello guys, we're reaching you back here another episode of Game Dev Tycoon. This just popped up as I was about to start recording. Um, so the uh, TS has um, by Invento uh, is a huge success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far, and we are just about to release a zombie game, action game for it. Um, one customer says, I love the games that come with the T, yeah, the Tez, um, and playing with the controller is such a more fun than keyboard, yeah. Um, I don't know. It's a little bit less, uh, gives you an easier control style a controller does, but it doesn't give you as many buttons so there's less possibility and you have to do more like combos of button combinations of buttons in order to get started. But yeah. Um Yeah we're developing a new game, that's what we're doing. Um zombie action game Tez we're gonna call it The infection. Okay, let's see. Gameplay, story and quest, and engine. Now we're gonna end it up just a little bit. Um, I think this episode. We'll actually uh, get a uh, system going on with uh, research points. Uh, that, no, we're gonna develop a, a game thing. We're gonna develop a game engine, custom game engine. Not. Leveled up a lot of things, including myself. Beautiful. Um, so now we uh, wait for our first reviews to come in. Okay. That's better. Oh, fuck you. 5.75, it's okay. It's gonna give me some stuff. I don't really start to worry about my, um, I don't really tend to start to worry about fans until after I've got the money situation set up, because it's, because your first point is to try and get money, um, and while getting money you're hoping to get as many fans as possible because fans are going to help you get more money, but if you focus on, uh, fans and all that, your money's going to start falling short and you're going to drop out. Um, an increasing variety of game devices also creates a market for more specialized games, so platforms feel more possible for younger games, so they could mature games. More and more developers enter a market, we expect developers to focus the games on specific age groups to really make an impact. Uh, okay, so I can target audiences. Um, no, I mean action, great combination. Graphics seem to be very important for this time of game, platform not a match. It's, it's okay. It's not good, but it's okay. Uh, you create your custom game engine through the. Uh, uh, yeah, we're actually just gonna do that. Um, we were going to research custom game engines. As we wait for our money to grow, and soon we will take over the world. Um, full of messages of the Tez console there are now rumors circling that Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. Vina, isn't that Sega in this game? I forget. 
because I mean like I don't really hear of them so I think so um you have successfully researched custom game uh, game tutorials and mono sound um, we are going to be creating a custom engine 2d graphics linear story and save games we'll create that engine we'll call it game engine one which I wish I really wish there was a way to change that. The infection now off the market didn't do so well, but it it did something. Um, Friend of the announced that Master B, the company claimed that Master B is turning. Technically, Spirit and Manus are successful test, but the Bento wants to release it in the coming months. Months turn into minutes, seconds, something. I forget what the Excel clock on this thing is. Uh, uh, we'll find a bit of contract work, see what we can do to put some, uh, some uh, money in the bank. Let's get something going. I don't want to be able to do stuff that, uh, that easily get something going. Oh, um, this is five weeks out. Uh, 8k penalty, but it pays off quite a bit. I'm going to accept that penalty after I get the money doing this. Um, I'll accept the uh, risk reward challenge going on. Uh, and this is just all to pay the monthly fees and bills. Okay, and then, uh, custom uh, finding contract work. Let's go. Go. Let's go! Good, good. Uh, I'm gonna fail epically. Yes! Okay, 35k has been transferred into the account. We are going to develop a new game off of our game engine one. It's going to be a detective adventure game on the G6. On that. We're going to then call it. Ooh. Who done it? Beautiful grammar in this game. Ooh, 2D graphics version 2. Costs a little bit more, but. And we're probably going to be going under sometime soon if we don't strike it rich. Because the game shuffles up your uh, things. Story about save games. Who, uh, the, this detective thing should really have. Uh, story and quest is going to be going up. Gameplay, swacking that down in the engine. We can bring that down. Yep, I'm going under. If I don't bring out anything that's going to put up money here, artificial intelligence, level design, and dialogues. Industrial X, uh, it's uh, the Master V by Vina. The straight up markets worldwide by industrial experts say that the concept is, is not very well marketed in North America, but that will flourish in other parts of the world. So, in other words, wait for it to start flourishing here. World design, graphics, sound, graphics, yeah, thwack graphics, sound is low. Oh, 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 my bank account! Gosh. In real life, I'm really good at uh, managing my money. 
This is a, this is like a it this is like make or break situation right here. This I might have to start over from the beginning. Hold on. I have gone under. Yes! Come on! Go to the fuse! Yes. Yes! Come on! Why is all games always there to just like be like, yeah, you know, you know how, you know how you're all excited and everything. I'm just gonna lower your, your, uh, your thing down. Right. Um, we are gonna be generating a game report on who done it. Yes, that pushes us up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> We're not going under, guys. <sighs> Detective Adventure is a great combination. Graphics seem to be quite important, and the platform genre match was bad, and I still did that good. I'm going to be releasing Who Done It as a reboot later on for the uh, PC. Do it for the PC. Where that? Um, never do adventure games. Uh, casual games. Huh? Casual games are like games like Flappy Bird or something like that, right? I thought that's what they were I played before. I've researched them, I've made a couple of them, but they've always done just done shitty. Um, because I normally release them for stuff like the iPhone. Uh, uh, I normally release them for like phone stuff, and they just do terrible out there. That's a terrible market to go into. And all uh, you don't do very good doing it. I've never really gotten good reviews on that market. Um uh, slowly losing market share. In an unofficial statement, G4 employees said that the company has been unsuccessful in introducing higher priced computers to compete against newer and more advanced PCs. <sighs> this is our chance, guys. This is where we jump on the bandwagon. Okay, we're gonna be developing something for the PC. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Let's set it all up here. As we, uh, uh, horror. Horror strategy game. PC game engine one leader and we call it memory loss. Mechanism for swine. Right, isn't it like machine for pigs or something like that? I don't really know my ending issue stuff. I mean, let's just fucking do it. Okay, I'm gonna have to end the episode there, guys. And uh, we'll keep developing going in the next episode. Robichia, signing off. Bye.